In this lesson, we are going to learn how to perform Docker debugging using VS Code. For that, we need a sample application. The sample application URL is https colon slash slash github dot com slash j2expert 2015 spring boot debug. Now you need to go to this particular URL and click on this code button and download the zip. I have already downloaded the zip file and placed here. Let me extract this. Once it is extracted, I am going to rename it. I want to remove this hyphen master part. Now let me go to VS Code and open this project. File, open folder, go to the location where your project is. Now this is the extracted folder, click on select folder. Now here if I have a look into the directory structure of this particular project, what I have here is two sample files, one hello world application, here we have spring application dot run method called and another a uh, simple controller where I have two methods one is display default message with the request mapping slash so by default whenever this application is run and the URL is hit it would return this particular message in other case if I hit a URL with slash hello then this particular method would be invoked looking at the files first we will check the docker file if you see the docker file, it's a very simple docker file. What it does, it is using this open JDK 8 JDK Alpine. Then it is creating a volume. And then the important part is at line number 5. In line number 5, java underscore tool underscore options, this is what we are using. And here we are setting this particular parameters for debugging. If you see over here, the address is set as 5005. So whenever I run my application here and I want to debug, I have to debug at port number 5005 because it would be listening at port number 5005 and accordingly I would be able to debug. Now, if I don't set this particular line, line number 5, then I won't be able to debug my application. And after that, it's pretty standard at the final line. I'm trying to run this Spring Boot debug jar, which would be generated from my Maven project. Let me go back to my project. Let me open the pom.xml. That is also pretty simple. Nothing fancy over here. Now, first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build this project. First, let me clean this. If I go to this Maven section, right click, clean. And let me install this or I can use package also. So as you can see, VS Code provides a utility for you. Don't need, you don't need to type the commands over here. Now here, this particular jar is built. Sprint Boot Debug 001 snapshot jar. If I open the Docker file, you can see over here in the copy command within the target directory, this jar would be there, which I would be copying as Spring Boot Debug jar. Now here, inside the target directory I have this jar so the project is built using Maven now what we need to do we need to run certain docker comments so in the readme file I have certain comments already written over there first one is to build the docker image I have the application I have the jar created so I want to create the image and its name would be demo image for debug so let me go to the project directory from command line and run this command or another thing I can do rather than going to a different directory I can use the terminal over here let me clear the screen now the docker build is being run here and it's creating the image let's wait for a few seconds let's wait for a minute or so okay now the docker image is built the next step we need to run a docker container from the image I have the image now I need to create a docker container with some port mapping if you see the command at line number 4 docker run minus p this is doing the port mapping 8081 8080 now 8081 would be the port that I would be accessing from my system it could be 8080 as well so 8080 would be the port inside docker but 8081 would be the port that is mapped to the host meaning my system so I am exposing port 8080 as 8081 and also 5005 as the same port now 5005 would be the port to which I would be connecting while I would be trying to debug this the name is the container name now this containers name would be demo container and I am mentioning the image name now one very important thing I which I forgot to mention while doing all this your docker should be up and running right so my docker is already up and running that is why the image got created if I go to my docker desktop if I go to the image section, here the image is created. Let me go back to VS Code, copy this command, 
and I am going to run this in the terminal. Press enter. Now, if you see, there was one message which went away. I will come back to that. Let the application start. As I have not run this in detach mode, I can see the application log over here. If I scroll up here, you can see picked up the Java tool options this. Listening for transport dt underscore socket at address 5005. Now, here is one important point. If I go to my Docker file, you see this option, right? Address equal to 5005. Now, this particular part, as I am using JDK 8, I have kept address equal to 5005. If it is JDK 9 or later versions, it could be address equal to star colon 5005. So, in between this equals and this 5005, you can mention star colon. Anyways, my application is running in debug mode inside Docker. Let me just check whether it is running properly or not. I am going to a browser and I am going to hit the URL press enter okay it's not working because i have given the wrong port let me provide 8081 let me enter the url and press enter fine so what it is printing it is printing a static string with the input test docker now we have to debug the code how to do that let me go back to vs code click on run and debug select create a launch.json file select java now here it is generating multiple things i don't need all of them what i need to do over here just remove this, give control space, attach to remote program. Now, by default, what it is giving, it is giving me a structure, right? And here, I have to enter the host name and the port. So, let me get rid of this particular configuration and provide a name, say, debugging docker. This is my configuration with hostname localhost, port as 5005 and I have changed the name. This name you can see over here. So, my configuration for Docker debug is ready. What I need to do, I need to place a breakpoint somewhere. So, this was the method which I was calling. Let me place a breakpoint and debug this in Docker. So, I am using this particular configuration. So, click over here, start debugging. Now, the editor is in debug mode. Let me go back to browser. Change the parameter maybe, just for test purpose. Press enter. Now, you can see it's waiting. And the editor is blinking. If I go back here, the breakpoint is hit. And if you see the input, test docker123. Meaning, the debugging is successful. I have launched the browser. I have hit the URL. The request is passed with certain parameter and in the breakpoint I can see the value of the input. So, we are able to debug the application running in docker. Now, here whatever we have done is a particular way to debug an application in docker using VS code. But whatever things we have done so far, we can do that using docker extension also. Let me disconnect this and we are going to use docker extension. This image build up this container and everything creation etc can be done pretty easily using docker extension so for that let me install the docker extension here i'm clicking this extensions button and i'm going to type docker select this extension you can see this is the extension from microsoft click on install by the time it is installing anyways it is installed already let me clean up all the container and images from the docker desktop just for test purpose i don't want to keep anything running so that there is no confusion so delete this one delete the container container is gone image also i don't need volume i don't have anything fine it's installed now let me go back to the explorer i have this docker file over here so, when I have this docker extension installed, you can see this icon, it appears after I install the docker extension. Okay. If I click over here, it provides me a nice view of containers, images, 
registries, network, volumes, contacts, etc. There are multiple things. Right now we don't have anything because I have deleted the image also. I don't have any container as such. So everything is blank. So once I install this particular extension, what I can do from here itself, okay, I can build the image. I'm clicking this. It's asking for a tag. I'm keeping it as it is. Press enter. Now it's creating the image once again. Now, if you recall the commands that we have run, right? Let me go to the readme file. Here, we manually run this particular command with a particular name. Now, here we are not doing that. We are directly running from the extension. So, that is the utility. So, if I go back to this, the command is run. The image is built up. Go to Docker desktop. Go to images. Yes, we have this already created. Now, go back to the editor once again. I have the image shown over here. What I can do? I can run it. I can run it in different ways, in an interactive way, standard run. I can inspect the image and do other things. For this particular lesson, all these options I won't explore. That is not required. Let me just run the container. If I go to Docker desktop now, go to containers, this image is there. Now, I have run the container here, but I have not changed the port mapping to 8081. So, ideally, the container that is running, that would be running on port 8080 only. So, let me go back to the browser, copy this URL, and I don't need to copy it. I just need to change this port to 8080, change the parameter. Now, the application is running. Same way, I will try to debug. I would go to VS Code, go to the Explorer, click on the application and go to run and debug use this debug in docker i think i have my breakpoint already present yes i have it now go back to internet explorer maybe test docker extension as a parameter now it is paused go back to the editor if you see this value the input value test docker extension so what we have done overall in this lesson we have understood how to debug docker application particularly a spring boot application in docker without using the extension then what we did we installed the docker extension we had a glimpse of it there are huge number of features i have just used the image creation and container running part there are other parts also but for learning the basics of debugging a docker based application from vs code that is sufficient so in this way we can run a particular application inside docker from vs code you can remember we have not moved out of the editor right within vs code we can do everything even the commands also you don't need to remember if you have the extension the basic commands like creation of an image running of a container and many other things can be done using the extension itself so vs code is very powerful the support that it has for docker and kubernetes and etc are pretty good and these are improving each and every day i hope this video would be pretty helpful for you